Hi everybody and welcome back to our channel. Today I'm going to show you how to actually water bath something. I am making barbecue sauce. I'm not going to show you the steps of actually preparing the sauce together, but I'm going to show you step by step how to put it in the jar and get it into the canner. So hopefully with the first tutorial as a step by step guide, this one will show you more in depth as to how to do it from my perspective. So hopefully you find this educational, so stay tuned, and the sauce has to boil for about 20 minutes yet, so we'll show you what we're going to do in the meantime. Here is the sauce that we're going to can. This is barbecue sauce, but it's still a little runny, so we're going to let it thicken up, so we're going to let it cook for a little while yet. So in the meantime, our water bath canner is on the other burner, and you can see they're starting to steam and sterilize the jars so they just stay in there the whole time that this barbecue sauce is thickening up okay and over here I have set up my hot pads my plate that I'm gonna put my jars on my washed rings and my washed and cleaned lids okay guys it has been about 20 minutes 25 minutes the sauce has thickened up, so I'm going to start pulling out jars. I'm going to use these to get my jars out of the water bath canner. So I'm only going to pull two of them out at a time. That way, everything stays nice and hot. My jars stay hot. There's my two jars. Pull this barbecue sauce off the stove. All right, we'll get it closer. Okay, this is where you're going to need your funnel. So you just sit it right inside. And the recipe that I'm using calls for a half an inch of headspace. So I'm going to show you what that looks like. So we're just going to fill these up. In my last video, I told you there was a tool that kind of looked like stairs. This is it, and this will tell you your head space that you need to use. So that's an inch, that's three quarters, and that is one half. So you rest the one half on the ledge and make sure it's touching your liquid, okay? That's how you know you're at one half inch of head space. So ours is touching the liquid, just touching it. So we know we are at one half. Now, even though this is a liquid product, we are still going to take our knife and go in here. See, there's a bubble in here. They still get bubbles and air pockets in here. So we're just going to go around and make sure we have all of those air bubbles out. Fill this other one up. And we'll do the same thing. Just fill it up to a half an inch. And whenever you're doing stuff with like tomatoes, Wear old clothes because nine times out of ten you will wear it. Okay, and then again we'll take it to the half inch mark here and just a little short. And if you just need just a little bit, just add just a little bit at a time. You can always add and take away. And we are right there at the half inch. Right there. Okay. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to take our knife in here, go the whole way around. I do have some bubbles on the top I need to get rid of. You can also use the end of this as a debubble tool, too but I always use a knife. All right. 
Now what you're going to do is get a paper towel and get some water on it. And you're going to take these jars, and they're going to be really hot, so make sure you don't burn yourself. And you're going to go around the top of the rims. And see all that stuff that's on there? That will prevent your jars from sealing if you have the barbecue sauce on it or whatever it is that you're canning or your brine or whatever. These are hot. See all that stuff on there? I'm a messy canner, so. Oh, I even got it on the outside of the jar. Okay, each one gets a lid. These lids have been washed and rinsed. Okay, now the rings go on. Finger tight, that's it. Finger tight, Woo. Okay, these are really hot, I can't pick them up, so I'm just gonna pick them up like this, straight up. Don't tilt it, don't rock it, don't do anything, and then put it right in your water bath canner. We will get more jars out and we are going to do the same process over and over again until we have filled all of our jars up. Once we are done filling our jars, I will take you over to the canner and show you what it looks like before we drop our jars down in. We ended up with six pints of our barbecue sauce. So you sit it, your rack is going to be lifted up like this. When you're ready, those handles can get really warm, so I use old towels or old rags, and I lift them up, and then it gets dropped right down into the water, okay? You'll see that my jars are completely submerged with water, and I do have my electric kettle going to warm up some more water to get it boiling. We're going to add just a little bit more because I don't think it's quite two inches of water over this. And we do have one jar, and I'll show you here. This jar did not come up to the half inch mark. So what we're going to do is let this jar cool off and put it in the fridge, and then we'll just use this one first. Okay, now we're going to pour just a little bit more boiling water on top of it until we're certain that we've got at least a good two inches. Okay, we're going to put our lid on. We're not going to start our timer on this until it is at a rolling boil. Once it starts that process and it becomes a rolling boil, I will show you what that looks like. This barbecue sauce will process for 20 minutes in here, but due to our elevation, we need to cook it in here for 25 minutes. We're almost at the point of setting our timer, okay, so you can see it's really starting to boil. I'm probably going to wait another minute or two, and then we'll set our timer for 25 minutes. You'll see when this really starts to take off and go, I only have five minutes left to boil. Um, but you will have steam that comes out the lid, and that's completely normal, so don't let that scare you. That is something that does happen, and it will do that the whole time it's boiling in the pot. Okay, our timer has just gone off. So we're going to turn that off and then we're going to turn our stove off. We're going to lift our lid away from your face so that way that steam doesn't come and hit you in the face. Open it up away from you. Okay, and then we're just going to let our jars just like this for the next five minutes. Once your timer has gone off for the five minutes, get yourself some old towels or rags. Everything about this is hot. You don't want to burn yourself. Lift this straight up, just like that. Okay. Did you hear that ping? They're starting to pop, guys. Listen. Woohoo! Okay. So then you're going to take your you're going to take your jar grabbers and you're just going to go straight up and out. The water on top is okay. It will evaporate. Now when you're looking at getting canners, whether it is a pressure canner or a water bath canner, 
Make sure you have enough clearance between the top of your stove and either your vent hood or if you have a microwave above it, make sure you have enough space for the canner itself because I have heard of people not having enough room. So you just continue to do this. And you'll let this sit on the towel for 24 hours. And then you will wash your jars off really good, get any debris that's on them off, and then you'll put them in your storage.